Good morning class. Today we are going to learn more about large numbers. As in your previous class, you did about numbers up to 5 digits. Now, let us take all the numbers up to 5 digits and go to numbers up to 6 or 7 digits through the place value chart and you will be practicing inserting the digits into the place value chart of 7 digits along with the periods and you will also be able to write the place value of the digits given. You will also be able to apply the conceptual knowledge for expansion of numbers up to 7 digits and vice versa. We will be writing the number names for numerals and vice versa. As you can see, this is your Indian base value chart up to 5 digits. Let us recall, we had the first family of ones where we have ones, tens and hundreds. Second family is of thousands. Thousands has got two members in its family. It is thousand and ten thousands. Thousands have got three zeros along with one. It is a four digit number. Ten thousands have got four zeros along with one and it is a five digit number. So we could see there are two families which you've done in your previous class. It is a family of ones and another family of thousands. So in all of you see in both the families there are how many members? Three plus two total five members. And the senior most member here it is yes, ten thousands. So you've been doing numbers. Every time you add something at one place, the effect goes to numbers further. Say for example, you have seven, and if you add three to it, it becomes immediately ten. And ten is a two-digit. Similarly, if you add 1 to 99, it becomes 100. And similarly, if you add 1 to 999, it becomes. If you add 1 to 999, it becomes 1000, which makes it a four digit number. And if you add 1 to this largest four digit number, what do you get? How much that would be? 
if you say three ten thousands, how much that would be? Right, it is thirty thousand. And if you say it nine thousands, it will be nine thousands. And if you say seven hundreds, it will be seven hundred. Four tenths, it will be forty. And you sum up these numbers, what do you get? As you can see, I have inserted the period just before 7 and after 9 thousands. So this is a value of 10 thousands, 39,740. Let us see the next number. The digits are 
see let us see the few given examples to you it is could you just read the number all right how many lakhs said to lakhs how many thousands 56782 the underlying digit here is 4 can anybody guess the place value of 4 Children in the previous class, you learned about place value and with place value you can tell the place of different digits in a place value chart. Just see in this slide that we have a number and you have to expand, you have to basically match these. Now see, if you have a number, suppose I give you 12,640. Now how do you come to know that 6 is at what place, 2 is at what place, 1 is at what place? As I told you, you should always mention quickly the place value chart so that you can easily, your mind can catch the number and you can practice it faster. So immediately this helps you to see it is 2000, it is 600, it is 4 tens and 1 minutes and it is 1 ten thousands. So when I say 1 ten thousands, how do I open it? I know it is 1 multiplied by 10,000. Okay, that gives me 10,000. Similarly, I also know 2 multiplied by 1,000. Thousands place, I get 2,000. Similarly, if I multiply 6 by 100, what do I get? 600. And so on. If you multiply 4 by 10, you get 40. And you can see there is no 1s. So you just put 0 and you can always miss it also. But you have to remember that. When it is in the end, it doesn't matter. But if it comes in front, it has a lot of value. You can see, adding all these, you get the same number. So this is how we expand different numbers. Could you just match these? Okay. A would be matched with which option? Option first, second, or third? Exactly. This is 3 10 thousands, 9 thousands, 700, 4 tens, and no ones. 9 lakhs. First, second, third. Exactly, third option. It is 9 lakhs, 30,000, 400, 4,200, 
one ten and three months. Just see the last one, it is a seven digit number. As you read it, you can easily count three plus two plus two makes it seven digit number. And you can see there, five multiplied by ten lakhs, two multiplied by one lakh, which gives you two lakhs, and so on. So you can easily match by understanding this way and doing your exercises and mastering the skill. Since you all are familiar with the expanded notation and you are able to read each and every digit in a given numeral, children can easily read the numbers aloud. As in this slide, you read the number 39,740. Let's go to the next work. How can you write the number names? without errors. You can easily see, if I have given here 52 lakhs, I need to make a place value chart of 10 lakhs, lakhs, TTH, TH, H, T and U. So if you see, quickly you place your numbers in this chart and you get your answer. It's 52 lakhs. Where shall I put it? It is 50. Two lakhs, ninety-four thousand exactly, and no hundreds, no ones, and it's only one. So this is how the tables can always help you to write the numeral from given number name. So the answer would be, as you can see there. Now similarly, it is a number name. You can all write the number name. Just see the last one. It's nine lakhs. Nine lakhs. How many did it come up? Yes. A six digit number. Just see here, 9 lakhs, 34,000, 34,000 and 230, 230. Do remember to put periods whenever you do your work, it will always help you to read the number in a better way. So with this, we are going to finish the large numbers, numbers with place value charts, place values, expected notation and writing numbers from number names. You can master yourself by online worksheets, uploading it, taking help from your parents. You can also refer to the ability to skill assignments. You can also make your own product by taking numbers of your own choice and giving and solving it with your friends in the class. Thank you.